If you could make a wish for anything, what would you wish for? When children celebrate a birthday, they wish for fun things that give them enjoyment, things they can play with and share with their friends. When Natalie turned 12 years old, her wish was to make her disease go away forever. Eight years later, Natalie is living away from home at college, putting her childhood behind her, but her childhood wish still stands. Cystinosis is a rare metabolic disease that affects fewer than 2,000 children and young adults worldwide. Cysteine, an amino acid, abnormally accumulates in the cell, creating crystals that destroys the cell and eventually all the organs in the body. The kidneys and eyes are usually the first organs affected. It's not if you'll need a kidney transplant, but when. Eyes become light sensitive. Drops administered every hour helps keep crystals from forming and blindness at bay. When Whitney was diagnosed in 1980, her parents were told she would be lucky to live past her 10th birthday. 30 years later, Whitney, a role model for many children with cystinosis, is one of the only adults with the disease that hasn't had a kidney transplant yet. With less than 13% kidney function, Whitney has recently begun the approval process for a transplant. Cystinosis is so rare that even specialists often overlook it. Early symptoms appear as weight loss, throwing up, excessive thirst, and a failure to thrive. For children that cannot tolerate swallowing the massive amounts of pills, most parents opt for a gastric tube to make sure every drop of medicine makes it into their child's body. The medicine keeps the children alive, but symptoms persist, organs continue to deteriorate, and side effects from the medicine take their toll on the child and the family. To the outside world, people with cystinosis appear healthy. On the inside, there is a battle going on in every cell of their body. It's a long way from Eastern Washington to Stanford Hospital in California, but Tina and her mom have made the trip every month for six months to participate in phase three of an important drug trial. The new delayed release medication cuts the dosing schedule in half from every six hours to every 12 hours, allowing for uninterrupted sleep and less side effects. With her G-tube removed and her dosing down to twice a day, Tina can spend more time being a little girl and less time battling her illness. The delayed release medication will significantly improve the quality of life for her children. However, it's not a cure. Dr. Stephanie Shirky at Scripps Research Institute has reversed cystinosis in laboratory mice using stem cell transplantation and gene therapy. It is hoped that by creating healthy stem cells in the bone marrow, it may be possible to reverse tissue damage and save organs ravaged by the disease. Dr. Shirky is careful not to make promises, but as a parent herself, she knows how important her work is to cystinosis families. It would be amazing if one day I would be able to tell them that we have a new treatment for this terrible disease and to tell them that they could live a life without this disease. That would be amazing. Imagine what wishes could be made with a life free of cystinosis. What would Natalie wish for then? I'm thinking about studying abroad and I'm, I really want to go to Tanzania. They have one in Tanzania. I'm going to get to learn Swahili. When I grow up, I want to be um, a dentist and a teacher and a nurse. Well, I might pick out one of those to be. I hope to go back to school and earn an RN degree. I would like to work with children and adults with cystinosis. I wish 
I actually could fly. <laughs> it seems fun. <laughs> and I like catching butterflies. I guess it can be rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> Eight years ago, Natalie made a wish for her disease to go away forever. Although great progress has been made, time is running out and there is still much to be done. With your love and support, Natalie's wish in a life free of cystinosis is within reach. <laughs>